Okay guys, so um, I'm thinking I'm going to do a review today. I think I'm going to review the uh, Mono X by Luke Wady. However, nothing set up, so let's get into it. Okay guys, now that the room's set up, uh, I think I probably should get into some more YouTube friendly clothes because I mean at the minute I'm just in my sort of short shorts. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna go get changed and then we'll get into this review. Okay, now that I'm in a, probably a more appropriate clothing, let's get into this review. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, you comment down below, do all that YouTube jazz, check out my Instagram and as always guys, let's get into it. <laughs> at the beginning of the video we have got the mono x by luke wady design now this is a very minimalist deck that just uses three pigments colors whatever you want to call them we've got white we've got gray and we have got black now for those of you who don't know luke wady luke wady has had some amazing card designs out there so we had the grid series which were the typographic cartography sort of card then we've got the mono series we've also got zero which has just been fully successfully funded on kickstarter and i'm looking forward to that coming in the post now me and luke have been having a bit of an exchange back and forth and he's been saying he wants mono on the grid well guess what luke mono's going on the grid um so without further ado let's get into the step review the mono x comes like this on the tuck case we've got a very simplistic tuck design here we've got the black with this cross which is the back design and it's made up of various different lines which creates the entire pattern there's nothing much else on the deck apart from it states where it's manufactured on the bottom down here just in there uh, down the side, it's just says Mono X, designed by Luke Weddy and manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. And on the back, we do have Luke's little symbol here. Now, the tuck case has got a lovely little sort of stamp seal on there, with this cross in the middle here. And on the top of the tuck, we've got the X, and we've also got Luke's little design. And as we pop the case, we slide it out, we are greeted with two identical jokers. We have a double backer, and we also have an ad card that's got a load of cool stuff on it. Just mainly about like Luke, he's got his Instagram, I think he's got his Facebook. It also says thanks for supporting this deck. This is very similar to the Grid series, this little bit in the corner here. It's just very much Luke font. Now the back design is like this. So like I said, a series of, of lines going through it which make up the, the, well, they make it into an X on the back. And what I like about this is if you notice, there isn't really a border to it. Like there is a border, but there's not a border. If you can see it comes right to the edge here. And as you can see down the side of the deck, which I really like that, is that we've got to the edge of the deck, so then down the side we have this, which I love seeing that in deck playing cards. Now if we fan these cards, it has this fan design, it goes all the way across, which is lovely, and on the front as well, we are greeted with a similar sort of thing. When you do fans, you've got this line that goes all the way around, and I think that's great. I think that's a nice little touch that that he's added into the deck of cards. I keep looking that way. I keep looking at the camera, I'm not used to it. I think it's a lovely touch that Luke's put into that. I really do think it's a lovely touch that he's added that little, little bit in there. We've got this on the front here. So when you create fans either way, it just looks so good. So in terms of the deck, everything is fully custom. So Luke has got his own pips like this. The aces, also pips have been changed and this is the ace of spades just here. This is Mono X with the little L at the bottom, which is Luke's design. And in fact, even the court cards have been customized with the similar sort of line pattern. So we've got it all the way through the middle here, in the pit, and even in the index of the cards, which I love. And I love as well that it's using his own fonts. Very similar to the font that is uh, it's like on the mono design. Now what I will add with this is because it is a monographic deck. Is that right? Monotone. Oh well. The reds are actually this like lighter shade of grey. And the black is this dark colour. So although when you're doing colour changes, 
It's not going to be an issue because you're going to see this differentiation going on. I think with the red, it just makes it look popping when you do like a, you know, when you do like a oh, twist change. See, if that was a red, it'd probably look a little bit more impactful. But nevertheless, Luke, don't worry. It's a great deck design. It feels really good as well. The cards are printed on the USPCC. They spring well. They fan well. They dribble like a beast. So all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good deck cards. Well done, Luke Wadey, for these. And I'm looking forward to seeing the Zero coming out. Now, any of you who are new to this channel, oh, this lie! I'm not gonna get used to this. I have to, I'm gonna have to get contact lenses or something, guys, honestly, because I'm trying to film, and I imagine all you can see is a glare from my glasses, and all I can see is this glare coming across my, my uh, glasses as well. You can see this, uh, get out of the way. I'm gonna have to just sit on the side like this. My good side. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I managed to undo a button as well. Any of you guys who are new to this channel probably don't know this, but I have a really weird like sort of grading system for cards. So I have four different categories, and all those categories the cards score out of 13 points. So those categories are aesthetics, handling, durability, and practicality. In terms of aesthetics, I'm gonna give these cards an 11 out of 13. I love the design, I love the simplicity of it, and I love the minimalism behind it. But also it's very intricate with the lines, creating that X pattern on the back. In terms of durability, I'm gonna give these an 11 out of 13 again. Being USPCC, you know what you get, you know that these cards are gonna handle well and they're gonna hold well for a long amount of time. In terms of handling, passing on that, being USPCC, air cushion stock, they definitely handle really well when doing magic and when I was filming some b-roll for this earlier, they were, yes, like a beautiful pizza of another. Yeah. And then when it comes down to practicality, I'm loving the fact that we've got identical jokers. I'm loving the fact we've got a double backer. It means they're perfect for magic, as well as a collector's piece. The only thing, like I said, with the, the color being a gray and not black, potentially when you're doing color changes, that may be an issue for the spectator if they're drunk, but if they're not, It'd probably be alright. So I'm going to give it an 11 out of 13. Don't know if I said that already. Did I? Guys, that's it. No, okay, cool, cool. So that means if my maths is okay, that is a 44 out of 52, which is a great score. Well done, Luke. Okay, guys, so that is the review for today. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. What kind of decks you want to see me do some reviews of in the future? What tutorials you might want to see in the future? Or any other goofballing sort of stuff that you'd like to see me do? And as always, guys, make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that notification bell and you check out my Instagram which is in the description box down below. And I'll also leave Luke's Instagram down there so you can go give him a follow and see what he has been up to lately with his Kickstarter campaigns because he's probably going to have another one soon, knowing Luke. So guys, I hope you had a good day, you've enjoyed this video and as always, 